exactly what I wanted. And this is the head right here. That little, that little thing. It's gonna burrow in my brain. Maybe that's what they eat. Jack's little bar by his brain. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre life forms on Earth deserve both respect and appreciation. In today's video, we're venturing into the dense jungles of southern Thailand in search of one of the most bizarre insect groups on Earth, trilobite beetles. These peculiar coleopterans can be incredibly secretive in their natural habitat, and much about them remains unknown. Let's jump right in and start our journey to find the weirdest beetles out there. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today I am in some beautiful forests here in southern Thailand and I'm looking for a very special invertebrate. I'm hoping to find quite a large one to showcase for you all and I think I've got a pretty good chance. This forest is perfect for them, so I'm gonna walk some trails, keep my eyes peeled, and hopefully we can find something to show you. So let's start our journey, and let's see if we can find exactly what I'm looking for. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you might know this isn't my first trilobite beetle adventure. No, we went searching for trilobite beetles back in 2019 when we ventured to the beautiful island of Borneo. In Borneo, the trilobite beetles we found were gigantic and they had striking black and orange contrasting colors. These were such strikingly beautiful insects that we just could not get enough of. I mean, take a look and how spectacular these insects are. Now, while we're in Thailand, the species that we're targeting is much less flamboyantly patterned and colored, which means they're gonna be a lot more difficult to spot on the rotten logs and old fallen leaves that are the exact kind of matte, dark brown and gray of the trilobite beetles we're looking for today. So I have to be extra careful not to pass any good logs or leaf litter patches that could house one of these very mysterious beetles. So I really want to make sure I'm checking all these logs uh, because these trilobite beetles, nobody really knows what they eat. Um, but uh, we're pretty sure that maybe some fungus is involved. Uh, the ones, if you remember the ones, the big ones I found in on Mount Kinabalu and Borneo uh, in 2019, uh, those are all on logs. So uh, I'm really trying to scour all the logs I can. Maybe we can see some, uh, hopefully a bigger one. They are a smaller species here. Are you serious? No way. <laughs> Look right here. She's like eating or something right now, huh? Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. This is actually a really good size for this species. Oh, I'm getting leached, man. I'm getting leached. No, thanks. Sorry, bud. Ah. Oh, nice. Okay, take a look at this. This is, whoa, a trilobite beetle. Now, they get their name uh, from the prehistoric aquatic animal, the trilobite. Um, and as you can see, their body segments are kind of split into three big parts here. They've got these two huge components of the kind of shielded exoskeleton. These are so, so, so cool. These are like truly prehistoric looking. Now, a lot of people don't realize is that all trilobite beetles that look like this are female. Um, and this is due to a very interesting cause. So the females are actually kind of trapped in this larval-like stage. 
uh, the males actually have wings uh, and look more like your average normal beetle. They're kind of moth-like. They're similar to the net wing beetles. Um, but the females look like this huge prehistoric dinosaur of an invertebrate. Now, this type of permanent larval stasis is called neoteny. This is a process by which an animal remains in a larval state, but can possess adult traits like active sexual organs. The males, however, do not go through this process. Instead, they go through metamorphosis and turn into a net wing beetle-like insect that can fly as they search for the larger females to mate with. Now, this was extremely confusing for scientists who spent decades upon decades trying to find a male to match the giant and intricate looking females. Finally, when a pair was caught mating in the wild, the mystery was solved. Now, if only we knew what the male life cycle looked like or what they ate. They are incredibly sexually dimorphic. Sexual dimorphism is when the male and the female of a species look so vastly different from one another. Uh, that's very common to see in the animal kingdom, uh, and insects, of course, are no exception. Look at this thing. You can see they're super slow moving. And this is the head right here. That little, that little thing. And I'll grab some super close-up shots for you guys so that you can see some of the... Uh, some of the detail I'm talking about because these are so, 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 so cool. Uh, they're such cool uh, invertebrates and I really want you guys to see every detail that we can, that we can capture because they're absolutely fascinating. Uh, but they're very mysterious as well, just like I said. Um, there's really not a lot I can teach you because there's not a lot known about these. Uh, of course, we know that they are beetles uh, in the order Coleoptera. Uh, we do know their family and et cetera, the, the, the trilobite beetles, um, but they are quite mysterious. There's still so much that's unknown about these awesome, awesome, awesome little insects. I think I can put it on my nose. Let's see. What is going on? It's gonna burrow in my brain. Maybe that's what they eat, Jack's sort of wildlife brains. Unlikely. Possible. Plausible. Just kidding. It's just a hypothesis. I have a hypothesis. But, uh, they've got great little tarsal claws. You can't really see. But they're able to grip qu quite well. In addition, uh, they have this kind of sticky pad on the back of their abdomen there that they kind of use like a caterpillar would. And they kind of peel it and use it to push their body along. Um, I'm hiding it from you, sorry. Uh, they kind of push their body along, and I've got some great footage of the giant ones in uh, Kina Baloo doing this as well, where they kind of use that sticky butt pad to kind of push themselves along, similar to some uh, firefly nymphs and glowworms and things like that uh, that you may be familiar with. These have to be some of the coolest, uh, some of the coolest beetles in Southeast Asia, of course. Personally, I'm uh, more than partial to the stag beetles. I'm really keeping my uh, fingers crossed maybe for some of those this trip, uh, but trilobite beetles are also just such an amazing find. Um, it's never a bad day when you get uh, trilobite beetles. It's like alien looking. So weird. Just creeping and crawling. Look at that. Thumbs up. Okay, well, I'm gonna let her on her way. Super, super cool, amazing tiger. I mean, not tiger beetle, trilobite beetle. And there she goes, right back where I found her. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Man, love finding trilobite beetles. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning some about the spectacular trilobite beetle. Um, they're one of my favorites to encounter here in uh, Asia. Uh, they should be everybody's favorite to see on the channel as well because uh, they are just super cool, super mysterious, super prehistoric looking, and always a, an absolute pleasure, ple pleasure to find them. Um, so really, really cool. But uh, I, think, uh, I think we've uh, 
had enough time with our beautiful trilobite beetle for you all at home today. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Uh, buy the merch. Uh, join our channel memberships. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Uh, keep watching the videos. Um, eat your vegetables. Uh, listen to your parents. Uh, go to school. Don't do drugs. Uh, don't talk to strangers. Don't get in random vans. Uh, don't send money to Nigerian princes through email. Um, don't hit on the prequels. Um, I think that's all I can tell you to do for now. Well, there you have it. Yet another unique and amazing organism that we share our beautiful planet with. Remember, no matter how bizarre or scary or even dangerous an animal might be, they still deserve our respect and our appreciation for the roles that they serve in their respective ecosystems. I hope you all learned something today. I had a great time getting out into the beautiful jungles of southern Thailand to find this amazing insect for you all at home. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.